Hello, this is Sir Stillwater. This is the next in the series of Great Buildings for Forge of Empires. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the Observatory. This is a uh, no-age building that is uh, very important, especially if you're in a guild, especially in these early eras, and I will explain all about that in just a moment. So, first off, this is what it looks like. It looks pretty cool. It looks like an observatory uh, for doing, uh, you know, whatever, checking out the uh, planets and stuff. Pretty neat. Um, let's see, it has a, 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 a relatively small footprint. We'll talk about that and we'll talk about what it gains and what the shield is. looks a little bit different than the other ones. So uh, I will go ahead and jump on over there now. So this is what it looks like in the wild over here. It's pretty cool. What maybe looks like what about maybe a four by four, I'll call it. Just going off the top of my mind or my memory. Okay, let's jump over. Observatory. It is a... Oh, it's a 3x3. Three three. It's even smaller. Wow. Okay, cool. Excellent. Okay, so the observatory, it has no age, like I mentioned, which means you do not need any goods. Oh, that's interesting. You do need goods, but they're Bronze Age goods, but it's not a Bronze Age building. Hmm, interesting. Never even gave that two thoughts. Okay, so basically construction is very cheap. It's 10 stone... 10 lumber, 10 marble, 10 dye, and 10 wine. Uh, it builds on a 3x3. Three three. A road is required, of course. It's um, Let's see, you will, of course, need your nine blueprints um, to go ahead and place it. Its production, though, is very unique, uh, especially in these early eras, where this isn't about your gain, it's about your guild's gain. So with that, the production bonus is goods production for the guild treasury, which is used to do guild things like unlocking. And in the old days, it used to be used uh, back in um, some of the some of the early days of uh, um, guild versus guild, which predates guild battleground stuff like that. You used to use a lot of guild uh, treasury stuff to acquire sectors and all that. You still use it for other stuff too at the guild level but um, passive bonus is gvg defense support pool which is actually used to help with the rankings for the guilds i don't know how much that's used anymore if it's used at all anymore uh, if it really matters anymore i'm not sure but that's what that was this is an old building that's been around since very early days of the game as far back as i remember and i was playing it when it was relatively new um, but the, the, the observatory was, it was the thing to have, and it was a good, honorable thing to have if you're in a guild. It always is anyways. A lot of guilds, you'll notice, almost every guild uh, has some type of reference to it being a requirement to be a member. You either have it or you're working towards it, uh, so that the guild treasury gets some contributions on a daily basis. Uh, there's other buildings that do the same thing, but they're a little higher, uh, higher era. Things like the Ark and... Um, the Atonium, I think, and some others, some others, I think, that are in that same space of guild donation. You get nothing for having this building. Anything that this thing produces or gives, it gives to the guild, which I think is kind of a cool principle. So that said, it requires 50. It's kind of expensive. For a 3x3, three three, it requires 50 FPs, and I think that's based around the fact that um, guildies will help guildies level their observatories because it's you know, it's the community thing to do. Um, and then, of course, you get the 10 support pools, which used to accumulate, used to get those from battles and holding sectors in GVG a long time ago. That's a whole other story. And then there's the guild goods, uh, which is what goes to the treasury. So every day, three. Unlike the goods production, when you get goods for your own buildings, where it gives you three of one random item or whatever. This literally gives the guild treasury three of each of that era that you're in. So in this case, I'm going to pretend that I'm in Iron Age. It would give three of all five Iron Age goods to the guild treasury at once every day when I collect. So that's kind of cool. That applies for any of these guild level buildings like that. So that's the observatory. It's pretty cool looking. Um... It's interesting, you see people that have level 140 arcs and stuff like that will still be running their observatories through the swap threads and stuff like that, or even through the 1-9 threads, uh, which is, you know, really kind of interesting. Uh, observatory kind of holds a, it holds a place in the game, uh, in, in the history, and the uh, kind of that side of it. So um, that's all I've got to say here about the observatory right now. Um, get it. 
get it as soon as you can. It helps everybody. Same thing, your contributions uh, or your, your blueprints will come from helping other people randomly. Um, you'll pick it up from, uh, again, helping and contributing to other people that have observatories and the payout. I think we'll see that. Whoops, let me jump down here and show that. Contribution awards. Oops. Does it show it in here? Let's see. For the positions. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so when you get to level two, again, level two, it starts paying a blueprint at level two. For position one, level three is one, two, three. And that's very similar. You see a lot of these buildings are in that same same pattern. So that's it. That's all I've got on this one. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them below. Again, these are all my opinion. And uh, I'd love to hear yours. If you have any buildings or any suggestions for these videos that you'd like to see that I'm missing, I've released a number of these already, and um, I'm sure I'm missing something. I try to add in uh, the best I can to help everybody learn and grow. Thanks. Bye.